Week two is supposed to be a bounce back week for the Indianapolis Colts. That turned out very much not to be the case. And in week three, we'll see. They're a road favorite uh, at Tennessee. Is that worth uh, betting on or betting against? We'll talk with Joe Dunphy from OffshoreInsiders.com to see what he thinks about it. I'm Peter Loshak. You're watching SBR Videos. Joe Duffy, uh, you know, the turnovers and penalties have crippled uh, Indianapolis in the first two games. Those are probably going to even out. But they look like they have some other real problems, right? Their, their weapons on offense are looking kind of old. You know, I mean, we're old, but in handicapping, that can be a, a real benefit on the football field, that's a, that's a major negative. They have a ton of injuries in the secondary. I don't know, you know, going on the road, giving three or three and a half to Tennessee. You think it's worth uh, maybe a bet on Tennessee here? Uh, quite possibly. Uh, you know, the Colts have been very good under Andrew Luck coming off of a straight up loss in a game, which they also did not cover. In fact, they had been 15 and zero, now 15 and one. But what really worries me as far as the Colts are concerned is Andrew Luck seems to be on a long list of quarterbacks that can that just regresses. It's almost the opposite of what it was back, you know, 20 years ago where a quarterback would would pro uh, progress, but instead he seems to be regressing. Now I wouldn't hit the panic button yet if I were the Colts, but they do not look very good. Andre Johnson clearly is not getting the separation that he once was. He's not the uh, batted weapon that was expected, you know, Frank Gore He's a physical running back. I'm surprised that he has held up this long. Uh, he's a very durable running back, but eventually he's going to hit that wall. He, may, he possibly has hit that. What surprised me a little bit is, you know, usually at the professional level, teams do regress to the mean. But winless road favorites off of consecutive losses of 13 points or more are 0 and 4. This is very rare, extremely rare circumstance, but it's 0 and 4 against the spread. And only one in three straight up. And if you just have a team off of consecutive double-digit losses, laying points on the road, still only one in six against the spread. So I, I really think maybe the, the better play here would be the uh, under. The Colts' yeah. offense is not very good. Uh, Tennessee's got some injuries and some question marks on their offensive line. Womack is out, so they got a rookie in replacement on the offensive line. I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. That's what I was thinking myself. And, you know, the Titans are, are kind of, uh, you know, they're not making Mariota do everything himself. They have a pretty effective run yeah. game, which you're probably going to uh, employ here a, a, as well. And, and I, you know, I was thinking that, uh, you know, when you, when you think about the Indianapolis Colts, you think of, you know, very strong, high-powered offense and defense that's uh, maybe adequate. But this year, mm -hmm. it's a completely different story for Indianapolis, right? I mean, going forward, should we look at them as actually – having a weak offense. I mean, obviously, Andrew Luck is, is going to have his good games, but if he doesn't have, you know, dynamic weapons to work with on offense, well, how do you rate Indianapolis offenses right, offense right now? Well, they would certainly have to make a dramatic uh, turnaround for sure. They're very clearly way off offensively from last year. The Tennessee Titans, as you said, their running game is way up from last year. They're averaging 145 uh, rushing yards per game. That is up from 90.4 last year, where they were among the worst in the NFL. But, of course, that's because they now have a, a legitimate quarterback. So, of course, a good quarterback improves the running game, and a good running game improves uh, the, the ability to pass. But the Colts, whether or not five weeks down the road their offense will be back, that remains to be seen. But I will say right now the way that the, the Colts are trending, their offense is overrated and their defense might be a little underrated. So, that, you know, again, I, I'm just handicapping this game. And I do think that uh, probably it is going to be a lower scoring game than we may have expected. At the All beginning right, of the great year. analysis, Joe Duffy. I love it. Right now, the total for the game is a split 45 and 45 and a half are market wide numbers. So Joe Duffy's lean is under 45 and a half. Do you want to go official with that, Joe? Uh, we'll go official with it, sure. Okay, under 45 and a half. And Joe Duffy, of course, your top plays every week, every day going off. Go to insiders.com. Tell people about that. Uh, seven and two, going back to week two of the preseason. Twenty. Uh, that's with Wise Guy plays. It is twenty-one and twelve overall. Another splendid uh, NFL season. You know, we're not going to claim eighty percent or whatever. We consistently hit the upper fifty, lower sixty percentile, and now we're at you know the higher end of that. It's been a great start to the NFL season. All right. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you, sir.